But, hey guys, welcome back to another one of my Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom videos. I know that it's been a while, but and it's also been a while for my Fallout 4 videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to start losing my voice. Let's get right into it. Uh-oh, they already see us. Alright, I'm getting out my sniper rifle. Man, these guys are all prepared and ready to go. They still suck, though. Oh! I need to kill that guy in the mortar. Here he is, right here. I forgot all about that guy with the hoodie on. Uh-oh. We probably better save these last four rounds for the very best headshots we can get on these guys. These guys look like they'd actually be kind of hard to get to without getting killed if I ran up to them. Oh, he made it just to cover in time. He's hit with like... Oh my gosh! What the hell is that? I am taking so many shots. Hits taken, 26. We are really lucky we're not dead. Oh, there we go. Okay, guys. I'm back here on the road again. We gotta go out all those guys again. But I really want to try to do this as stealthy as I can. This many guys, it makes it extremely hard to kill. So we're gonna try to do this stealthy. I know that I'm not super good at doing stealthy missions, but let's try and make this our goal for this mission. 15 meters away. He's going to see us too, I bet. He's so close. He actually never seen us. I want to interrogate this guy pretty badly. There is another guy down the road we got to be very careful about. Doesn't look like he's coming back though yet, so I think we got enough time to interrogate this guy. Talk. Mm, I don't need blueprints, but that's nice. Sorry, buddy, but I got to kill you. Let's get him out of here. Where's a nice place to put this guy? I'm thinking, actually this isn't too bad. I don't think people are just gonna be going down this trail right here. This guy's getting closer. The grass is kinda high here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to shoot this guy. I can see him somewhat. He can get to this opening here. Nice. Okay. Get up. I need to talk to you. Oh shit! We gotta get him out of here. We gotta get him out of here soon. Very, very, very fast. Probably be better just to knock him out. And... Yeah, I'm just gonna knock him out. <laughs> Uh oh, that guy's about ready to come around the corner. I'll just put him down here for now and get this guy. Sun setting again, so that's really nice for us. Let's see here. Oh, we missed him. Got him. I'm gonna also get him over here. I don't want any more soldiers creeping up on us, you know? Come here. All right, so now I got these guys both together. Let's interrogate this guy first. Spit it out. Nice. I'd love to get my hands on a guy in my crew that's going to be pretty high ranking. That's this guy something. Okay. Don't have time for that. 
We'll just leave them right there, I guess. Die up here placed. in the guard tower. Marker right here. Placed. Marker placed. There's Marker lots placed. of guys here. Oh, look at that. There's that prisoner that I meet survivor. Marker I'm guessing the Soviets are making him take them to the honeybee. Marker placed. Lot a lot a lot a lot of guys around here. Marker placed. Marker play marker placed. To be honest, this is actually a pretty hard marker task. Placed to do for me. I'm not a stealthy person whatsoever. If I actually end up taking out all these guys without any of them noticing, I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back, just saying. That's Marseille Fort. This Marseille Lamar. Now to find out to be. I think our best bet, we can't just go straight in there or else we're gonna get seen, of course. So I think our best bet is just to go around the sides and take out all the remaining people around the sides and then work our way in from there. Oh, this light might might give us away. But I got to go through here. This guy up in this guard tower might be a problem. If we get spotted, he's definitely going to be a big problem, but I don't I don't plan on getting spotted, so We'll just never mind him. Actually, we might go for him because he's pretty alone up there. Nobody's really around here. I'll just leave him there. There's some common metals up here. Oh, fuck it. I'm not going to look at him until later. Seems like there should be some sort of guy or something posted over here. If I turn off this generator, then they're really going to be worried. So I don't know if that's a good idea. What's in here? Oh my gosh, there's two diamonds right there. I guess just like... Oh, this must be like their armory, huh? Another diamond? That's a large one. This is actually not a bad place to spot people. Lots of diamonds, lots of metals. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be taking that. I'll turn off this radio. Oh, it's not really, I don't know what the hell it's talking about, but it's not on a radio station. I really hope nobody goes back down on that road again on for patrol and see those guys down there. There's a dumpster right there, so in case we kill somebody, we could just store them in that. Extraction arrived at mother base. This cave, this cave looks sketchy as fuck. I feel like I'm gonna get spotted down here like big time, but this is the best we can do. So, what is he looking at? Uh oh. Their footsteps sound so close. Ah, I don't want that box. Here we go. Oh, they're escorting that prisoner back to somewhere. Oh shit, I gotta get him out of here fast. I just realized that those guys are closer than I expected. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Come on. Oh, come on. Are you serious? There we go. 
Okay, that was very, very, very intense. Guys, 35 meters away. We got to be careful about him. I really want to extract that guy, so I'll get him last. Does he have a different gun? No, same gun. Let's interrogate these guys. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here, huh? Sorry, buddy. This is the radio boy. So at least, at least he didn't call in. Wasn't able to call in his buddies. One last guy and then we'll go and extract Fulton recovery this guy, hopefully. All right, this guy's dying. Diamonds. And I think there was another one. Yeah, here's another one over here. We got to think of a place that we could store these bodies. There's a lot of guys here, and this looks like this could be a pretty popular spot for guards. Yep, one's coming right now. It almost looks like he's running. Sorry, buddy. We need to get this guy out of here, too. He's a prisoner. Boss, go ahead and fold and extract that prisoner. We'll find out if he knows anything. <sighs> Not bad. I think these guys are starting to get a little bit wary about my presence. There's some some sort of common metal. Guys, 25 meters. He's not even far away. I'm gonna come down here and shoot him. Nice. Yeah, let's get back up there. First, I'm gonna Fulton recovery the. First, I'm gonna re Fulton recovery the guard because I don't want him waking back up and then being like, "Oh yeah, there's a guy here." Let's get him out of here. I think this is the guy that we were looking for. Look at how much less enemies there are already. There's like, I've taken out like already half of them. Uh oh, this guy right there. They're definitely on alert or something. I don't know exactly how they... How they know, but... That guy's coming kind of close. 62 meters. I'm Fulton recovering this guy as well. Just to get him out of here. Yeah, I'll actually put him in the trash can. I forgot about that. And this guy we're going to bring back to the base. This is the guy we want. Let's get back into that, that cave again. Okay, now that we had Fulton recovery that guy... And that guy's sleeping in the dumpster. I'm gonna fault and recovery this guy now. This is the prisoner. He may he may be of some very nice help. So he's working for me now. Good news, boss. Looks like that prisoner you extracted was the meat survivor. The guy's a mute, but he pointed out the whereabouts of the honeybee on a map. It's on your eye droid. Head on over there and retrieve it. Nice. So recovering that guy was a very, very smart idea because he just told us our mission, like what we're here for. He just told us the exact location. So that's pretty nice. There has to be some more diamonds in here. It goes down here. Hopefully we don't have any guys coming from behind us. Hey, 
guys, just tell me down below in the comments if you're watching this video. Tell me down below in the comments. Tell me how you like in these uh, Metal Gear Solid series and the Fallout series. Because I really enjoy making them. I think I'll be bringing some uh, Battlefield 4 as well here in a little bit. Just some multiplayer gameplay. Nothing, nothing too special. I used to play Battlefield 3 back in the day and it was... I don't know, I was actually really good at it, but I just stopped playing it. After Battlefield 3, I was a little bit turned off by Battlefield 4 and... I don't know, I just decided I'd give it another shot. I wonder where that goes to. A large diamond? But yeah guys, just let me know. I mean, if there's any kind of games that you guys like, like to watch uh, play or anything like that, just tell me because uh, I'll try and do my best to play those games if I have them. Okay. We just got into like a new section of the cave. There's a diamond. There's another diamond. This place is rich with diamonds. I mean, it kind of makes sense though because it's like a old, old ruins or something. Oh, look at this. Excuse me, by the way. Uh, common metal, biological material. What's in here? Man, this place can almost be like confusing. So many things around here. This must be like the barracks in here. Yeah, this has to be the barracks in here. There's like ammo, supplies, beds. All right, I've looted as much as I want to loot. I just want to get back down there to the mission now. I've got so many diamonds. I'm totally good with the amount of diamonds I've found. I like this. Just going through this like little hole here. I don't know. What do you guys think? In real life, do you think you guys could crawl through like little holes like this, or would you have to? Would you just be like creeped out? Because I know I'd be scared just shitless. This is somewhere new that we haven't been yet. Nope, we've been in there. There was a diamond stash that that guy had talked about. Targets right there. Gunship. Where's this diamond stash that this guy was talking about? Here we go. That must be the diamond stash. I don't know. Let's just get down here and get this honeybee. Oh wow, this cave this cave really opens up. I wonder where this goes. This must lead to the outside, I'm assuming, but I don't know. Yeah, nothing really special here, but you do get a really nice look out here. I guess it's just like some sort of escape route. Okay, now that we're back, we just came from there. Now we gotta think of where else we're gonna go. Did we come from over here? Or... Seems like there's a lot of doors over here. Oh yeah, we did. I don't remember searching all these rooms though. Don't see anything. Okay, now which door do we go into? I'm actually pretty confused right now. Do we go in over here? Are you guys just as confused as I am? Here we go. Oh gosh. You secured the target. Now you just need to bring it back. That's pretty badass. You are not to use the honeybee. The order was to recover it with its ammunition. That is badass. Look at how huge that, that launcher is. Now we gotta go deal with the rest of these guys. And I don't have my sniper rifle now, unfortunately. I don't think 
did we come from here? I'm so lost. These ruins confuse the shit out of me. Uh oh. happening I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go against the boss oh shit that thing what the fuck does that thing want with us anyways like that thing legitimately scares me like I hope that's not my friend oh gosh that's a weird noise that's fucking weird Where the fuck are we at? This is just getting weird. You look well rested, big boss. My, what the? My, how you've changed. You became a demon for such little weapons as that. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll see the bigger picture eventually. That's the Freddy Krueger guy that I was talking about in the very beginning. That's like Freddy Krueger V2. If you get out of here alive. 